today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this buffalo tofu sandwich along with a side salad with like a honey mustard type dressing, but not that. All right, there you go. Usually we do those after. This is from this morning. So I'm gonna take some tofu and I'm gonna slice it up here and here. And then I'm gonna pull it here and take it out. So we have that piece of tofu right there. So now I have my tofu in my tofu press. All you have to do is take your block of tofu, put it in there and then this one's a little hard so I usually do it off the side of the table so I'll just take this rubber band and pull it all the way down and do the other side and I put it on the last one so that it squeezes as much out as possible it's good to do this like a day or two in advance or a few hours in advance but usually I forget and just do it like for 20 minutes while I cook the rest of my meal so I'm gonna take this bowl and I'm gonna try to come up with a marinade for the tofu. I wanna go with something a little spicier, but I'm trying to keep it low on the salt. I'm gonna first take a little water and put some water in here. Okay, we just have a little tiny bit of water. I'm gonna put a little squirt of this in here. What the fuck? Oh my God. Jesus. Oh my God. Clean this off. And then I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of this. I always check the nutrition facts. One tablespoon, 20 calories. It's a lot of sodium, so that's why I'm trying to be as light as possible. 390 milligrams of sodium, no sugar, just good. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon of this. It pours out really fast, so you gotta be slow with this one. I know there's healthier brands, but. This is what I have for now. Now I'm just gonna mix this together a little bit. I'm gonna take some pepper. We're gonna take some paprika and throw it in there. A little tiny bit of liquid smoke. Some onion powder. I like to put a lot in. The onion powder smells so good. Some garlic powder. Just a little bit of sea salt. That's it. I'm just gonna let that chill while the uh, tofu is in the press. So what I'm gonna do right now is work on a little side salad. So I'm just gonna throw that together real quick. So I have a big bowl right here. I have a mix of spring mix and then some baby kale. So here's a glass cutting board. I'm gonna take half of an onion. Take the first layer here off because they say that's the layer that actually makes you tear up. I don't know if it's true because sometimes I still tear up, but sometimes I don't, so. I'm gonna take this knife and I want it to fall apart, so I'm gonna cut against the grain right there. So some of this is gonna go in our salad and then the rest I'm gonna save for, I'm gonna make a little sandwich with the salad. off the little ugly part. It always looks like a butthole to me. And on every vegetable or fruit that has one of those, it grosses me out. It looks like a butthole. And then I'm going to peel it. Weird 
hundred peas back because I think that's enough carrot for the salad. And I'll just eat it later <laughs> as a snack. I'm gonna grab a piece of garlic. Cut off the buttholes. And then just dice it. sugar-free almond milk. Okay. And then I'll just like shake it so that it all goes down to the bottom. So now what I'm gonna do, normally I would just put the lid on this bowl and shake it, but one, it's kind of filled, so I don't know how much movement there would be. And two, I can't find the lid, so I was gonna put it in here, but I can't find the lid for this one either. So I'm gonna put it in this one. I don't know where all my lids went, so I'm gonna put the whole salad in there. Before I put the dressing on, I'm going to shake it first, and then I'll put the dressing on and do it again. tip always be sure to rinse this out as soon as possible because otherwise it'll dry and get stuck i just realized there's one thing i meant to put in the salad that i forgot i wanted to put some black beans in there no i'm not using this wrong it's a pampered chef one so it cuts it really cool i'll show you cuts it so that there's no sharp edge but it's breaking and i've had this for years my mom got it when i was like probably eight years old or something but it's my favorite one ever and i've never seen another one like it see no sharp edge it like thirds cup so that me and my boyfriend each get a third cup of beans. We both record all her, our food into our Fitbit apps so I measure everything out to make sure I know how much I'm putting in. Now I'm going to take the tofu or the tofu press. Now look, see all that water? It's all from the tofu. It's still soaked but it's the best we're going to do. I'm gonna take the tofu and cut it across like this. Okay. And like that. And then I'm gonna put this little layer back into the tofu press. I'm gonna drain it too and save this for tomorrow probably. And I'm gonna put these in here and pour some of this into this bowl. I'm gonna let those marinate. I might just let them marinate for a few minutes 
and then I'll cook them. While I'm letting that marinate, I'm just gonna clean these dishes. messed it up a lot um just pretend that's not there i don't know what i did to it but i did that so we're gonna put it on we're gonna put it on a low heat at first and take our tofu and you could just put that right in there there you go take a spatula move all that around there and let that sit there for a few minutes and while we let that sit there, we grab the toaster. Sorry, I am a tornado in the kitchen like Julian Solomita. I just make a mess everywhere I go and then I hate myself because I have to clean up it up. This bread, 647 bread. It's, this one's white. I usually like to get like wheat or something, but this is all I had. It's uh, literally 40 calories per slice. <laughs> This is doing. Right. Just let that cook there. You know my grandma used to say, he used to say. So when it gets to this point, this is when I move it from here to my air fryer. I'm gonna put it as high as I can for, we'll say, five minutes for now. I try not to use oil in my recipes, so I use water, but you might have to if you want fried tofu. You don't have an air fryer, so just use the oil instead of the water and then the rest of the same stuff. But try to use as little oil as possible. So now we have our bread. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some lettuce on here. We're gonna take the onions that we saved from earlier. That does not help us see. Put it in for another five minutes. The reason I'm doing that is because a tablespoon is really just three teaspoons. So I want to put a half a tablespoon on each sandwich so that it will overall equal up to one tablespoon each for each sandwich. So that's what I'm doing. I know that normal people don't measure their food this much, and I'm sorry. I'm just like, I love math and I didn't do anything with math in my life, so this is my way of getting my math dorkiness out. And it just, it makes it very easy and trusting to put it all into the Fitbit. A yummy little meal for dinner. So like a buffalo tofu sandwich and side salad with a vegan honey mustard dressing. No honey at all, just dates. I'm excited for this one. It looks so good. Okay, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you. 